Today we're going to make an Alma Thomas inspired art piece. This is a square, so it doesn't matter which way, but write your name, your teacher's letter, or your teacher's name, and a one. Go ahead and pause here and wait till everyone's done, and then we'll move on. All right, so on the front, you are going to make a shape, and you can go straight in with the paint. It can be any shape you want. Just remember that you're going to be um, going around it. So a circle might be kind of easier, or a square. You could do a heart or a star. You can put the shape anywhere. It could be in the middle, it could be off to the side, and you will paint in the shape any color you want. The next thing I'm going to do is I can switch colors, use the same color, use a different brush, it does not matter, but we are going to make our dashed lines. So remember, wash your brush between colors, and use your brush to activate the paint. You don't want the paint too watery, so later in the class when it gets really watery, you don't have to re-dip your brush. Like bricks, or like a dashed line, you're going to go around your shape very close, as close as you can. I like to turn my paper because then I can use the flat edge of my brush to actually make the rectangular shape of these brush strokes. As you're doing this, make sure you're being careful and not smearing your paint with your hand. Once you've done your first dashed line around your shape, you can change brushes, you can change colors, um, but your next row should be really close to the first row, like building bricks. Now, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so that you can see some decisions I make. So the goal is to make this dash kind of line, big or small, building, but not touching or overlapping each other. And what direction it goes after a few of these, what's called concentric or following the shape, you can decide what to do. You can also decide what colors you wanna do. Um, I would keep each line one color, just so it doesn't get too confusing. Um, but eventually I'm gonna run out of space. All right, so now I have touched the edges. So now what I can do is I can make a decision. I still wanna have the bricks going next to. This row, I'm going to pretend like it goes off the page. So even though I can't see the point and I can't see the side of the heart, I'm going to continue that line. You can also go other places as long as the next lines follow that design. Another thing you can do is that you can follow the negative space. So I'm just gonna follow this little triangle in the corner and I'm still making bricks. They're still the same distance, but I'm filling the space in a new way as if it was a triangle or a V. So it is up to you how you want to, after going around your shape a few times, lead your bricks. Oops, that one just went off the edge. Now all the lines above that are now gonna follow it. If that seems a little confusing, what you can do is just go straight across. So what I mean by after you go around your shape a few times, you could just do a bunch of lines that go across. So this one goes across, this one goes across, and I'm changing brush strokes or brush sizes just for a little bit of variety. Your goal is to fill the whole paper and you probably will not finish today and that is okay. Keep using that edge of your brush to make it look like a little brick or a block and turn your paper when you need to.